What's going on, everybody? The Iceman here. Yeah, on this Thursday. And it is October 3rd, 2019. And last night, we had the premiere show of AEW's Dynamite on TNT. And here's the deal. I watched the show. I'm seeing a lot of remarks going back and forth stating, well, NXT is better, blah, blah, blah. And I've even mentioned to some people, I go, how do you know if you haven't watched uh, the Dynamite show? I mean, but I just know because WWE is better than AEW. AEW has just started their very, very first, first TV show on TNT TV. I thought the show was good. Um, I like the way it opened up with uh, Cody Rhodes and Sammy Guevara. Uh, it was a good match. I think the whole, all, all the night's matches were good. Uh, the ending was awesome. Uh, we had a six-man tag team, Chris Jericho and LAX, against uh, the Young Bucks and uh, Kenny Omega. Although Kenny Omega was not involved in that match very long because John Moxley came out. And they took off somewhere in the arena. Uh, Omega and Moxley both went through a glass table. And that was pretty much the last time we saw either one of them. But towards the end, you you had people come out. Um, and a surprise. And, you know, I'm not really surprised that Jack Hager came out. A.K.A. Jack Swagger. Um, and then Guevara came out. And it just... It was a beatdown on the Young Bucks. Um, you know, they got a little bit of help, but it was really to no avail. But it was a good show. Uh, I will say this, uh, with Tony Schiavone and Jim Ross on commentary, along with Excalibur, I th whom I think is an awesome uh, commentator, uh, it sort of did, because all three of them, you know, were in WCW, and it sort of... Like, gave me a taste to WCW, and Tony Schiavone made it a point to mention um, that this is the first show on TNT since WCW. But the show was good. I enjoyed it a, really, a real lot. Um, but you got fans out there that are they're making it a war making it WD, WWE against AEW, I don't look at it that way. I look at AEW as another promotion for me to watch. It's an alternative because you want to know something all week long. Um, you know, I, I'll watch Impact Wrestling. Right now, they're like on a like a hiatus of some sort, and they're just showing like their pay-per-view type shows until the end of uh, October, which sort of ticks me off in a way, because they didn't really say that on the show, they just said coming, you know, the the first Tuesday of October, Impact will be on Access TV, and then they showed Homecoming, so, but anyway, um, you get tired of seeing the same faces from Monday all the way through Friday, and, uh, that's why AEW, to me, is a good alternative. Now, I used to watch NXT probably like four or five years ago, or whenever it was when Sasha, Bailey, uh, Becky, and Charlotte were on there. Um, I remember watching a takeover before SummerSlam where where Sasha won the NXT Women's Title. I, I believe it was over Bailey, and that was a that, the whole show was really really good. Um, but now. Um, NXT getting all these people from the indies and whatnot, and they're and they're and they're you know they're they've been they've taken people from Impact Wrestling, they've taken people from Ring of Honor, and it's sort of like has changed the look of NXT. Um, so I sort of shied away from it, and um, so I watched AEW last night, and you know I, I'll be honest with you. The, one of the only people on NXT I really do like is Adam Cole. And Roderick Strong as well. Um, but, so I watched AEW. And then, you know, you're, you're posting stuff on Facebook about AEW and how, how you thought the show was. And the first thing that come out of people's mouths is, 
well, it wasn't as good as WWE's NXT. I'm not trying to say it is. I'm not trying to say it ain't. I'm just saying, this is the show I decided to watch. It was my preference, and I have a right to. So don't hate on me for having a right to. My buddy, um, uh, Chris Michaels, Chris Robodeau, Boston fan, um, and also Fort Minor Project, David Rivera. You know, I think they feel the same way as I do, as, as well as, like, Freddie Mitchell on Facebook. We all are there. It's it's wrestling. This this is what I've been saying all along. It reminds me back of the territorial days where, you know, you had wrestling all over the place. And it's, it's like coming back, but it's not territorial, so to speak. And I guess in some way it is. But, um... Yeah, AEW was a good show last night. I, I think the ending was great. Uh, Rio ended up becoming the first ever AEW Women's Champion, which I was shocked, but not shocked. But anyway, the whole show was good. Uh, I thought the matches were good. They delivered quite well. And um, I'm looking forward to next week. Uh, Chris Jericho is our AEW World Heavyweight Champion. He is as evil as he as he's ever been, as I've seen him. Um, but it was sort of fun, and it was it was sort of fun to see Tony Schiavone. Um, but yeah, their their um, announced team of Schiavone, Jim Ross, and Excalibur, I think, is totally awesome. Um, I think they're going to work well together. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see what develops. I'm, I just want to see what goes on week after week. The only issue I did have last night, and i got to realize this, that it was on TNT, that there was a lot of commercial breaks. And that sort of bothered me, because just when I was getting really into the match, we got to go to a commercial break. Sometimes they had to split screen, sometimes they didn't. But all in all, the show was good. I enjoyed it. And for those that are NXT fans... So be it. You like NXT? That's great. Nothing wrong with that. I just prefer to watch AEW. It's a brand new promotion. And why wouldn't anybody want to give it a shot? It's a brand new promotion. Give it a chance. You know? And if you don't like it after a few weeks, change the channel. Go to USA and watch NXT. That's all I got to tell you. So on this Thursday, peace out everybody. October 3rd, baseball playoffs. Oh, yeah. Tampa Bay defeats Oakland last night 5-1. to one. The Nationals already beat Milwaukee the day before. So the Nationals have got the Dodgers. Tampa Bay has got Houston. And then we got St. Louis against Atlanta. And we got the Yankees with the Twins. Let's see what develops there in football this weekend. Peace out, everybody. See you next time.